This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite L875D laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite L875D laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove all sources of power, and that includes the battery. So we flip the laptop over. There's two levers on top of the battery. We slide both of them outward. This one locks, and this one moves back and forth. So we slide it outward, lift up the battery, and remove the battery. Now the laptop is safe to work on. Our next step after this is to remove the screen frame, the plastic bezel that goes around the screen so we can get to the screen assembly. And in order to do that, we need to remove four screws, two on top and two on bottom, that are holding the plastic bezel to the screen assembly. So before we start, let's go over the tools we're going to use today. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We also have a smaller PH00 electronic screwdriver for smaller screws, and a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to mostly to pry things open. We also have a hobby knife, or an X-Acto knife, to remove the plastic screw covers, and a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck or to manipulate wires. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is remove the plastic screw covers that are holding the screws. So we do that first with the hobby knife. Being careful not to pop it off. So what I like to do once I remove it is put it right next to the screw opening so I don't lose it. So we do this for all four screws, two on top and two on bottom, like so. Once we remove the screws, we can use our PH1 screwdriver, or we remove the screw covers, we can use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the four screws. And for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile for each step and put the piles in the order in which I remove them. This way it helps me keep track of which screws go where when I'm putting the laptop back together. So this is one pile here. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is snap off the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. What I like to do for this part is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently start lifting up the bezel and listen for snapping sounds. So once I hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the bezel is coming off, like so. Work our way all the way around the screen. If he gets stuck at a point, just keep moving and come back to that place later when it's easier to do. This is probably the hardest part. Sometimes it's a little bit easier, sometimes it's a little bit harder. This time it wasn't so bad. So once we take that off, we put it to the side and we take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, the screen is mounted by some screws to metal mounting brackets on the side of the screen, and we have to get to the metal mounting brackets. So that means we have to lift up the screen away from the screen assembly, like this. And for the, there's a screw at the bottom here and here that's kind of hard to get to doing this. So one trick that I use is to loosen up four screws at the bottom. There's two here and two here that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly. Loosen up maybe one turn 
not too much, so just enough to get to the screws. And don't forget to tighten them when you put the screen back together. So that gives us almost enough space to get to the screw on the bottom. So I'm going to loosen it up some more, just a little bit more. On this side and on the other side. like so. Okay, so let's try again. For this one, I'm using the PH00 screwdriver because it's easier to get into over here. So we remove the screws one by one. And as the screw gets stuck down here, you can use the metal tweezers to help you remove it. Two. And three. When you're doing this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all the screws, the screen just doesn't fall forward on you. Okay, same thing over here. One. Two. And three. Like so. Okay, once you do this, you can tilt, start tilting the screen forward, and right away we see that the webcam cable is stuck to the back of the screen. There's some adhesive on the back of the screen and the webcam cable, so you gently lift that off, and you gently pull it down. And then we see we can put the screen down pretty easily now. Okay, this is a 17.3 inch LED screen. It's uh, pretty common, so you shouldn't have any problem finding it. So for this type of screen, there's one connector for the LED screen connector, and we have to remove that. And there's some adhesive tape, and we use our fingernails, or you can use the X-Acto knife to lift up the adhesive tape. And usually there's adhesive on the back of the connector too, or on the back of the video cable. So we lift up the adhesive. Once we lift both of these up, we can slide the connector out like so. And the screen is free from the laptop computer. So let's go over this part a little bit. When you put the connector back in, I see, this is the biggest source of trouble I see. Make sure it's properly connected. When you slide the connector back in, you'll feel two clicks. You won't hear them, but you'll feel them. And let's take a look at the close-up of the connection. See if we can get a good focus. There we go. Okay, pause the video right there. Make sure your connection looks like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The connection should be flush like this. Okay, so let's keep moving. We're going to take the connector out again, and let's take a look at this screen. This is a 17.3 inch LED screen, and like I said, it's fairly common. And let me give you the part number that you need to look for. The part number that you need to look for is B173RW01. Now, once you get your new screen in, it's not going to be the same part number, but the screen will look identical and will have the identical specs. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen. And what you get with us is this toolkit comes for free with this screen that we sell. The other thing is we have free email technical support when you do the installation. So if you have any problems, send us email and we'll take care of it. We have a two-year warranty on the screen and we have fast shipping. So we have we ship from warehouses in Tucson, Arizona and Atlanta, Georgia. So your screen will get to you in three days or less when using ground shipping. And also, if you live outside the United States, we can ship to most countries in the world and have been doing that. So to order the screen from us, please go to www.screensurgeons.com. Click, um, don't, or 
once you get to ScreenSurgeons.com, there will be a short form for you to fill out where you give us your email address and the laptop model number, and we'll email you the link to the right screen. Or if you want to find the screen yourself, on the bottom, you can click Search for your screen. There will be a search box. In there, you can type in L875D, and the first result that will pop up is the right screen. OK, once you do get your screen in, connect the connector, as I showed you. Mount the screen on the metal mounting brackets. After that, tighten the screws at the bottom. Then snap the screen bezel back on and put the two screws on top and two screws on the bottom and the screw covers, and you should be done. And your computer will be as good as new. OK, that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.